Welcome to my personal hell. I am 0-3 in this draft. Last time I 0-3 the draft was in Return to Ravnica draft, late 2012. And this might be the time. I'm really sorry I couldn't get... I got that recording error so I couldn't show you the draft. So you could tell me how to improve. But... I'm now gonna try to win the booster. Any way possible. A buy would have been awesome, but no way. We start. So this guy should be playing ornithopters and stuff, but on the other hand, so should I if I am here. I'm keeping this. I'm uploading the other videos, so I have some lag. Got a great 345 curve going here. <laughs> Okay, maximum focus. He's black. He's playing Typhoid Rats. They are attacking me. I am gonna meteorite those suckers. So hard! Yeah, I think it's better to use the meteorite effect on them. He's green-black! I'm getting beaten down here. Which is familiar is better than Gargoyle Sentinel at this time. Which is familiar? Now you have to stay back, stupid rat. Unless you have something else to play, like a netcaster spider. Three colors, it's about time for him. Sea Moon 2001. Playing black, green, white. Hell, maybe I can beat him. He has the netcaster spider, no. no he doesn't have the netcaster spider. He has Mr. Pride Mate. And I have now a new target for my meteorite. Maybe I should trade here. Yeah. So the accursed spirit is not in danger. Yeah. After all, I have the Grave Digger too. My three drop with one drop. Not the best. Hope he doesn't gain a life here. Don't get the life. But magic players seldom have lives. No. Just kidding. No! The synergy! Do I block here, actually? Because I don't know how I deal with that guy. Yeah, I think I'm taking this trade. After all, I am a control deck. Yeah, well played. Keep making bad decisions. Isn't Child of Night Pride Mate really good?
I am gonna block with the sentinel and draw another combo trick. Aha! Two can play the game of the sentinels. But then he just stopped attacking. Hmm. Okay, so my new plan here is to attack. And then he will attack. And I can smack back with the Child of Night taking the lead here. Because I have the meteorite to remove the blocker. Oh, he does have three mana, so we maybe we'll trade. We will probably trade. <laughs> I changed my mind. Oh my god. I should just not play magic today. I need a stronger drink. Stitch worm. Living totem. On the sentinel. And just no target for the uh, meteorite. Statues, Fester, Gloom, Mind Rot, Crippling. Yeah, this is very indicative of my draft. Of this tournament for me. Okay. Enough whining, let's try to win this. So I'm taking four here. And I have to keep my own sentinel back to, to deal with all this crap. That's a good one. So do I now attack with the child of night? Try to kill one escape, but if I do all of that to kill the living totem, it just doesn't do quite enough, does it? Do I have to do something? And I will be protected by my typhoid rats. Yeah, I think that's uh, that, that's decent. So kill the living totem. And play the typhoid rats. But we are way behind. And we never should have blocked with that uh, Cursed Spirit. That was the big mistake. Here he comes. So I live for four turns from this point. And how can I have a blue-black control deck without flyers? That's not the best. God. I must not O3. Focus. That's decent. Go flying. Hit him. Mm. 
lagging badly because of the uploads. That was one mana for a ton of turns. Still need to draw something useful though. Like that guy. Seven, eight mana. But I want to block with the Sentinel. And I think that's worth Not doing damage this turn. Uh, not doing damage next turn, so I'm getting their cursed spirit. Yes. And I'm not playing it as I'm going to block. Falling behind on the clock. My deck is like syrup. Wow, my first two real Swiss drafts have gone really bad. I two won the first, but that was by the hair because then I actually drafted bad but played uh, better than I'm doing right now. That's not good at all. Okay, make a note of Hunter Week. Peel would now be amazing. And we are at 11. Hunter Week, Ranger's Guile. Yeah, of course I'm gonna win this. Soft shade. A cursed spirit. Just one Titanic growth and this match is over, but I think I've lost this match. But that's the way you lose matches, thinking you're gonna lose them. One thing I learned in this draft is that peel, to reality, peel from reality is a lot better than I thought. So uh, I block him with Typhoid Rats. Yeah. That's over. Okay. Block, block. And F6. So once again, Mind Rot feels pretty good. Brawler's plate seems very slow, but his deck wasn't very fast. Meteorite underperformed. Okay. Let's down the last of the energy drink.
Yes, I want to play first. I'm gonna keep this. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be so great. I'm gonna use double snuff to get excited here. Really weird Swedish custom. It's a uh, tiny bags of tobacco. That I insert under my lip. It's a lot healthier than smoking. But it still kills you. The nicotine then goes straight into the bloodstream and make you really crazy. You could like have a game where he doesn't find all his happy colored mana. And I get to beat him down with witches familiars. And maybe that is this game. I will be so happy if I win this. Which is familiar to the rescue. Do it, which is familiar. Do it to him. No, mana. I can't beat that. Shed. Hmm. Synergy opportunities. And then we get Hunt a week on soft eh, on Sentinel and soft shade. But what does his deck do against? Oh, I haven't seen the exile thing. But on the other hand, he had no reason to cast it. But maybe he can't deal with the Soul of Innistrad. Hunt the Weak! Oh yeah! Uh, Mind Rot, hopefully I can peel and recast the Witch's Familiar next turn. I feel that Mind Rot seems to be very useful in this format. Okay. Yeah, hit me with your rhythm stick. Or not. I think he will activate an attack. Yes, he will. Hmm. Mana! One time! Mana! Uh, no such luck. But we do get the typhoid rats. We could have Ranger's Guile here as well. And now we have something to return. I want him to pay the activation cost. It does, so we peel. My creature, your creature. Yes! That made me happy. Not a very productive turn on his part. And we are one closer to salvation. So let's put the beads on him. He will just replay that thing. So we are probably better off playing the sentinel. Yeah, I think so. Should I represent the ulcerator? I 
We can actually attack with our sentinel. Uh oh! He finds all his mana, but he does so on turn 7. What is he using white for? The pride mate. But one mana at Soul of Innistrad. Stupid Tormentor! Wow. So stupid Tormentor. Can you really do anything against the Soul of Innistrad? Will my bomb trump yours? I can sacrifice the witches familiar. I don't want to pay tree life, do I? And I don't want him to draw a card. So I just have to let the witches familiar go. He kills me in three turns. And I don't have trample. So we're still in a pretty bad racing situation here. And using the ability of the solo in the start is very secondary. It's better to block with the sentinel next turn, of course. So play which is familiar, sacrifice it. Um, block with the sentinel because it can take a lot of soul beats Titanic growth doesn't save him Yeah, that's my plan but He can just throw crap in the way of the soul Like that guy So we are probably sacrificing the rats here instead. Is there a way to cast him? Not really. to block here. Uh, the rats are gone. He just needs any stupid combo trick. But we've only seen Ranger's Gal. We saw the Titanic growth too. Am I gonna O2 the, 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 uh, the bottom final? Wow. That means for sure that I'm never drafting control again. Two Hunter Weeks. Limited resources is really down on Hunter Week. Now I'm dead next turn. Encrust!
Well, that's it. <laughs> Mo three, I won one duel. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't think I'm drafting again until Cons comes out. Except the new player stuff. No, that's weak. I should uh, try to learn something from this. Tormentor, pretty good. Crushed by Hunter Weak. Because I was the weak. I actually have to check that. I've been close to being infinite in draft. Do you really believe that? But I am 170. I paid 170 tickets to pay, play 260 drafts. Let's look at this now. This is my drafting table. We are gonna have to. We are gonna look for an O3 draft. Over here is the record, three O three O. So we are looking for three in the loss column. Yeah, this. This was it. Okay, an M13 draft. On video, actually, on the 25th of March 2013. Oh, I'm just gonna do some records here. You can quit the video if you want to. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what I first picked. Especially without flyers and removal. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna rub this into myself. I played against a pint of beer. Who was you are? And this is 14 tickets down the drain. That's uh, not sustainable. No price. Um, there is no rating in version 4, is there? Soul of Innistrad. Cost 14, I gain like one ticket of value. O3. Ouch. Goofed as well. Not good. Balance minus 182 tickets. Uh, I lose 76 cents per tournament. Is this the correct number of tournaments? 22 to... Uh, 285, that's... 264 minus 1, so 263 drafts. So my real loss is 69 cents per tournament. But that's a leak. And that's not something you can do if you want to be infinite. Wow. I hate myself right now. Thank you for watching.